Uh, so you can see uh, all of that is gunked up. The whole exhaust is pretty rusty. We're gonna get on up under there and see what's up. All right, got a box to lay on. Let's do this thing. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Coated with oil or something. A lot of oil. I was pretty confident that all this oil that you see coming from that filter, but you can see it's quite a bit. I mean, it's dripping oil everywhere. It's wet, very wet. And then the transmission, I don't even want to know. Oh God, yay, that's fun looking. Okay, let's, let's take a look at this. I don't know what this is. It's dirt, it looks like dirt. Anyway. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna clean up a little bit, we're gonna do some oil changing, and we'll go from there. All right, we're gonna switch over to the GoPro here as things get messy. Here is everything we're using so far. Got some regular engine degreaser, got some basic socket, this puppy, the brake filter taker offer tool, some of these thingamajigs, one of these thingamajigs, and this old t-shirt. I think I'm gonna do just a basic little cleanup so I don't get any oil dripping on my face. From what I've seen online, I've seen people I'm pretty sure drain from this one, but I think I've also seen people drain from this. I think this one's easier. I'm not entirely sure. I think this one might have a filter that comes with it. I'm gonna go for this one and then go for that one. Let's see if we can get this guy off. Okay, so we got some oil dripping down. That bolt came off surprisingly way too easy. Not a lot of oil dripping, not a good color. Like I said, that bolt was barely on there. Let's let this drip, pick off that other one. All right, I managed to Get the center filter off, no problem. As you can see, dripping all over the place, so we're gonna get that fuel filter off, clean everything up. I managed to get the old oil filter out. As you can see, kind of gunky up top. We got this new Bosch oil filter. We're gonna get it lubed up, put it in there. See if we can clean this up once we finish this oil change. Put the plugs back in, tightened everything up. Everything stopped dripping, so we're good to go. All right, well, I wanted to switch cameras and show you how it's going. Basically just drain the oil, put in the new filter, which I overflowed with too much oil, so it's actually been a little bit of fresh oil but I'm not concerned about that. The oil filter fit okay. We have our stuff over here back together. I was concerned that there might be some leakage going on on that thing. I checked the seal. The seal looks okay. I'm gonna fill her up with the oil. Double check some stuff. Be back shortly. You can see that. I'm gonna call that belt perfect. Right up to the second line. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn on the engine, let it run, let it get warm. Then I'm gonna look out for oil leaks, see if anything's leaking after we just did all this. There's a few suspect spots. Thought that the potential leak was from the old oil filter. Who knows, really? Could be, could not be. The old oil filter seemed fine to me, and the gasket and everything. Guess we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and fire her up, see how it goes. <laughs> To the uh, GoPro. See this? This is all fresh. So this is all fresh oil after the oil change. It's dripping. It's coming down here, dripping off there. I don't know exactly where it's coming from, but I do know it's fresh oil. Somewhere up in here, I'm not really sure, but a significant amount was coming off. Oh, that's not good. So anyway. All right, well, a couple hours has passed. The dripping has slowed down now that the engine is not warm. Still got some, some dripping significant amount when the engine's warm. So here's the general plan. We're going to clean up everything in there now that it's cool. Find out exactly where this oil leak is coming from so that I can better assist the situation. So I'm going to get to cleaning. All right, so in the midst of uh, doing all that cleaning, I decided to take the bumper off. Got that off. Now we have way easier access to this dirty, dirty engine. Did the best I could to clean up all this. A lot of oil, a lot of more work to do. Look at that. Just caked with oil. 
Got some of that cleaned off. Bumper was pretty easy to take off, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get into this as best I can. By the way, using uh, some of this alongside with experimenting a little bit of this, being careful with both, not to spray anything that I shouldn't, but uh, it's all been metal down here, so anyway, I'm gonna get back to it. So, here we stand, it's the next day. Basically what happened was, as I was trying to figure out where the leak was, the exhaust and the bumper went in the way. So, I went ahead and took the bumper off, easy peasy. And then I went ahead and took the muffler slash exhaust off. You can see it's kind of rusted, maybe not terrible condition. But what happened was, this piece right here, so yeah, this broke off. This basically went like that. So this is where it broke off of. This comes out of the heater exchange box. And there's this pole which goes into this. So I don't know how much of this is original, how much of this was modified by the people who own this prior. That was on there, something like this. Anyway, that sucks, I guess. Basically, what we've done, gone a little bit deeper into this bus and still have not fixed the oil leak, which, you know, is still kind of casually leaking. I put a new box under here. So see all the fresh leaks? Everything looks pretty dry, but we know that once it gets warm, it's gonna start leaking. Also, another thing that I realized, all of that gunk on the transmission, you see all that? So that, it's not wet. That is like a rubber sealant. So someone spray the entire transmission with a rubber sealant on the bottom. That's probably not good. That leads me to believe that the transmission has issues and someone just kind of sprayed it with some uh, rubber gasket sealer. So, you know, just another day on the bus. And then also, I ended up taking off the other uh, heating exchange box. Came off fairly easy. Now I have a pretty good look at everything under here. Um, I can really get up in there and inspect and hopefully find this freaking oil leak, man. Also, wanted to point out, as you can see up there, I got a grinder. I did a quick little experiment I haven't really gotten into it so hopefully we can go in and clean up all this rust take these exchange boxes off clean them up obviously clean up that I want to try and weld that so yeah things are uh, going good right now what I'm gonna do is attempt to take off that right side heating exchange box put it to the side and we will clean it very soon so it's hard to tell. Every morning I come out and there's spider web hauled from the cardboard to the van. I have a feeling there's quite a bit of spiders up in there, but uh, nevertheless, we will conquer even with the spiders. Real quick, I wanted to point out, this is where we thought the leak was coming from. If we look up here, it's hard to tell on the camera, but pretty oily, especially back in there. Good amount of oil. I'm just gonna get a flashlight up in here, really examine everything, see what we're looking at. And real quick, I wanted to show you guys what I'm working with over here. Look at these bolts that I have to take off. As you can tell, if you get up under there, it doesn't get any better. That is so pretty. Look at that gasket. Oh, that whole thing should be replaced. But because of lack of funds, we're gonna do everything we can to put a band-aid on it until we can uh, replace this whole thing and these things down the road. That being said, just wanted to remind everyone, I have little to no mechanic knowledge. So let's get into it. I, I already tried to take this one out. It was a pain in the ass. Didn't want to move at all, go figure. But if we go over here, we got these that look way easier to get done. I'm gonna take those out. So after a little bit of uh, time and wrestling, we got the right side heat exchange box off. Taking a look at this thing, this is where I attempted to undo it. Super rusted, again. <sighs> trying to band-aid it we have this heating mechanism part here I'm not really sure if it works it wasn't really hooked up or anything probably research some of that later we got a gasket really old nice worn out rusty ga gasket took this off because this is where we're gonna have to weld <laughs> As you can see someone did a little patch job here I'm not exactly sure what's going on here if we go over to this other one it comes right out of the control box, straight to that. But this one has this longer pipe. Not really sure what's going on. If maybe, I'm guessing maybe this is the original and then they added this for support. I don't really know. The whole purpose we took it out was easier access to grind. 
All right. After uh, some grinding, we got a, a somewhat decent surface to work with here with welding. All right, what is up? It's now actually uh, another day. Just working on it slowly, day by day. I think what we've established is there's definitely an oil leak dripping off of there. What I found out is that is the oil cooler. But yeah, so I ran the engine and uh, we definitely have dripping coming off of here. What I'm really gonna do is clean up this oil cooler and then have this nice little bottle of this engine dye so what we're gonna do is throw this into the oil with a uv light and some uh, special glasses we're gonna hopefully locate where this leak is coming from we know it's coming from primarily just dripping off of here i think what was happening was the heat exchange box was right up in here that was just dripping onto the heat exchange box the heat exchange box covered in oil yeah it's covered all up in there all right well even though you don't necessarily have to clean it up because the UV dye will show you where the leak is coming from. We have our fancy glasses and our UV light. All right, and we put the dye in the oil, flushed it down with a tiny bit of some fresh oil. Now we're gonna turn on the engine, let it run for a sec, and then start looking for that leak. So I ran the engine for probably like four minutes. Even without the UV dye, it would be really easy to see that the leak is coming from the bottom here in the oil cooler. You can see we got some nice, fresh, clean oil. So it's dripping from right there. Essentially centralized right around here and under here, this corner here. There's nothing else leaking from the top, the far end in there. Nothing that I can tell. So I think it's probably a safe bet to say that the oil cooler has gone bad. I'm almost positive at this point, again, I'm super amateur when it comes to this stuff, um, but uh, pretty positive that that would probably be it. I don't know, do some more research. Probably uh, order a new oil cooler since it's almost Christmas here. Coming up next week on Tuesday, might try and order that part real quick, see if I can get the order in before Christmas and hope for next week. Probably gonna go ahead and take out that oil cooler, which will be the next fun experience. So I think uh, to uh, wrap it up, for the second but uh so far so good pretty stoked on the project anywho that's it for now peace